In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the address bar in Internet Explorer and I'll show you how it works. So up here we have the address bar and on it we have the web address for maganga.com and that is http colon forward slash forward slash www.maganga.com now that is the web address for maganga.com. Its technical term is the Uniform Resource Locator or URL. Now you might have heard of that in the past and you might hear about it in the future but from now on we're just going to call it the web address. Now if we take a look at the address I want you to ignore the first part of it. The HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. That is a technical prefix. I want you to get used to looking at web addresses starting www. Because when you know the web address you can go straight to the website by typing it into the address bar. And I'll show you how we do that. If we left click on the address bar the web address is highlighted. If we backspace that clears the address. Now if we type in a web address that we know and I'm going to put in for the in independent I've put in www.independent.co.uk and if I press enter Internet Explorer should take us to the independent website and that's loading now. Now let's try another website. So we're going to left click on the address bar, backspace and www.saga s a g a dot co dot uk and press enter. and our Saga website loads up onto Internet Explorer without having to search for it. OK, I'm going to show you something that not many people actually know. And if we left click on the address and backspace to clear it, if we just type one word in there, if we were looking for example The Guardian and type in Guardian and press enter so we're just doing a one word in there there's no www dot our search engine appears and we have a search for the Guardian now let's get rid of that again by uh, clicking on it and backspace and we'll do a search now using the address bar for the word saga and Saga is searched for. So we can use the address bar to find the website if we know the web address but we can also use it to search with. And there's one final thing about the address bar. If we go to the arrow at the very end and we'll show a drop down menu what it's called is it's called an autocomplete. So the websites that I've visited or typed in there are all listed on the left and underneath I've got a list of recent history sites that I've been to and at the bottom I've got a favorite site where I've got a favorite website that I've visited and that's used for auto completing and if we just highlighted the independent there left click over that and it will go straight to the independent Thanks very much.